Hello, my name is Eric, and I um, just wanted to show you a couple items today that uh, I think are pretty neat tricks, and uh, I hope that you find them useful on your own schedules. First of these is producing intelligence into activity IDs, and the second is uh, producing uh, bars on your Gantt chart from user-defined fields. Now, uh, this is taken from a schedule that I developed well, last fall for, for a client. Now, I did switch around the company's name, so the, the actual client is not on this schedule at all. And I uh, reworked the schedule a little bit so this is not completely identical to the one that I built but it's, uh, it's similar enough. This uh, schedule uh, was for, oh, approximately a thousand vendor audits and CG surveys that were required to uh, make sure that the vendor supplied materials, had the proper documentation, and were being properly checked by the vendors to meet all licensing requirements from the NRC. And each, each audit would have its own uh, uh, WBS area, indicated here by the yellow line, and the CGS surveys would they, they'd be on, on down below similarly. So let's take a look at one of the audits. We're going to call this company Michigan Electric Company, MEC. They're going to be doing audit number 203 on a, on a vendor called Industrial Analytical Services. Each audit is built of four steps. Audit prep, perform the audit, audit finalization, and audit follow-up. To show at a glance which of those four main sections that an activity belongs, we're going to throw in some uh, uh, intelligence on the activity IDs. MAP stands for Michigan, our uh, client company here. AP, Audit Prep. Dash 203. Now the 203 corresponds to the audit number. So every activity within this particular audit will be, the, the middle section will be 203. And your next audit, number 204, the entire middle section will be 204, and so forth. The last two digits in every activity ID is the actual uh, increment in the activity value. Now for every, for every audit, on, on audit prep, where you sign the lead auditor, it will always end in 10. So let's go, let's go down the list. MAP, again, Michigan's doing the audit prep on uh, audit number 203. And on down through here, they're conducting the pre-job brief. Um, MAP-203 and 70 again is your, is your increment. Coming here, perform the audit. That starts with the letter M for Michigan, PA-203-01. Down to here, MAF for Michigan Audit Finalization-203-01. And coming down here, MAC for Michigan Audit Closure. So that is the uh, uh, I, that is the intelligence uh, built into the activity IDs. The next next section here covers uh, uh, user defined fields, producing uh, uh, bars in the Gantt chart. The client wanted to wanted to know at a glance if his field audits were going to start within a preordained um, 
preferred time or a, uh, a time period that they called acceptable, but still they, 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 they wanted it done earlier. But it was still, again, still acceptable and not, not considered late. This was done through user-defined fields. Let me bring this out just a little bit here. Prime period start, prime period finish. Those are user-defined fields. These dates were supplied by the department. Once you have those dates, you can define the bars. Bring it down here. Acceptable bar, whoops, prime bar, right there. On time scales, user dates, prime period start. That's what I just showed you in the uh, in the column that's uh, that we just hid. User finish date, prime period finish, and similar for the acceptable bar. Now, the uh, milestones that you see here in here. These are just normal, milestone, normal milestones signifying the beginning of the actual field audit and they will be driven by the schedule itself. So as these milestones would move within the pink bar, everything's still good. They can move to the purple bar, it'd still be acceptable. If they move out into here, then things are late. So that's... Uh, that's the uh, lesson of the day. I hope that uh, you can find this useful. Thanks.